Her first dive is on Rose Reef, a long, thin reef orientated northwest southeast from 12 meters up to 7 meters. We are anchored on the northwest side of the reef and then we swim southeast down the spine of the reef to the middle. In the middle of the reef, turning the corner and heading east, I spot a rock formation that I name the Stargate. Swimming under large overhangs east to west, underneath the Stargate, we find a good-sized cave. Leaving the cave directly in front, we find an entrance to another, longer, larger cave full of bullseye fish. Bullseyes congregate in large shoals wherever there is a hole in the reef. The school of bullseyes sway back and forth as the swell above sweeps through the cave. The big attraction of Perth's underwater caverns is that they have lots of holes that provide safe exits while also providing beautiful soft blue lighting with beams of illumination streaming in. We exit through the roof of the cave back into the real world. and return to the boat where we relax and watch the local fish life while we use up our remaining air. While there, we find a dead crayfish on the bottom. Soon after, a large number of wrasses start to tear it apart. During this feeding frenzy, I was able to get a rare clear photo of the colorful but fast moon wrasse. Our second dive is to be on a new site nearby. As today was Australia's general election, we named it Election Reef. Under the boat, we find a sandy bay with a horseshoe-shaped wall around it with a long ledge. Behind the western blue devilfish, pumpkin fishes and foxfish, the ledge is full of craze. My buddy Jake spots something interesting and calls me over. A large cuttlefish the size of a rugby ball lurks under a rock waiting for prey. I stop to film him and make my hand into a shape like a cuttlefish raising a tentacle. This excites a response. Mindful that cuttlefish have a sharp, parrot-like beak, I keep my camera between my fingers and the cuttlefish. Mm -hmm. 
It was an amazing interaction, and one I won't forget soon. But all too soon, it's time to return to the boat. Autumn, which occurs in March to May, often has the best diving conditions of the year. Warm, flat, calm, and clear. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and share and tell other people about us. And tune in again for our next exciting adventure in Aquatic Australia. <laughs>